Previously on You Gamer. Oh my God. So, Digit, lay it on me. I promise to let you pick the next game to review, so let's see it. Oh, Mario Party? I love Mario Party! And here I thought you were gonna make me cover a mediocre game. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. What's up? I'm you Gamer, and this is my trusty electronic companion, Digit the U Phone. And in case you're new here, this series would involve me seeing if a game should be finished, gave away, trashed, or completed. If you plan to get and play the game yourself, please be aware that there may be spoilers mentioned all throughout the video. Now let's get to it. Mario Party Advance! Whoop! So pumped! Oh? Gotta make a passport? Um, okay. Name, Ugg Aimer, born in Nov. Okay, my hobby. Guys, I don't want you people to judge me in the comments about what I enjoy doing. This is something that I really hold dear to my heart, and I would appreciate it if you guys would respect both me and what I do in my free time. I wouldn't make fun of you for doing what you love, so please give me that same respect and do the same. Thank you. Now how do I look? Seems about right. Now for a comment. Hmm. These nuts. <coughs> my biggest dream. This is starting to get personal. Well, my biggest dream is to become Hokage. <gasps> Believe it. <laughs> my biggest secret. What the hell? Why is this even necessary? Well, I guess I can't hide it anymore. Obviously. Finally, the game starts. Toad welcomes us to Party World and suddenly gets mauled by the ass of Bowser. With Toad resting right under his nutsack, Bowser somehow manages to scatter the games and gadgets required to have a Mario Party all over Party World, and I guess it's our job to get him back. When starting story mode, you meet the host of Shroom City, Tumble. Tumble then asks you who you want to play as. Wait, 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 wait. Then why did we do all of that work of setting up our passports if we're just gonna play as Nintendo's very own anyway? That makes no sense. That's stupid. Everyone knows that the GBA is incapable of going online, which means that they would have to know the people to some extent if they are gonna play in person via wireless adapter or link cable. What? We're in a car now. I guess moving towel to towel must be a lot of work considering that he's done it in the past 5 Mario games. The rules are a little bit different in this game. You still use the same dice block mechanic like in the other games, but this time, you have control over every single step you take in the game, unlike the other ones where you can only control which direction to go when you come across two or more roads. Also, you can only move as long as you have mushrooms. If you just so happen to run out, it's game over. So the goal of single player mode is to collect all of the mini games and gadgets so they can be accessible to play in playland mode where you can play with your friends and whatnot. I guess. I, I don't fucking know. Now by doing that, you have to complete quests all throughout Party World in exchange for the mini games and gadgets. Hmm, I don't think I'm liking this new concept, but let's try it anyway. Ah, 10! We're already off to a good start. Maybe this won't be so bad, huh? Okay, our first quest is to retrieve a ticket for Goomba. Man, it feels great going on an adventure. No fucking way, you cannot be serious. The station was three stops away from his house. What a lazy motherfucker. Why? Why can't you? 
I just wanted to party. <laughs> <laughs> After a few turns, Tumble approaches you to play the Mushroom Challenge. The Mushroom Challenge gives you the opportunity to get more mushrooms so you wouldn't get a game over. The only thing you have to do is win the minigame randomly picked for the challenge. This should be no sweat. I was a Mario Party Pro back in my GameCube days. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. <laughs> like why was this game even made? Like, oh, and put it down. Why was it like, who doesn't want to play a Mario game? Mario Party game. 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 Mario game. Mario Party game. Mario Party Advance tried to add more flavor to the Mario Party single player mode since Mario Party isn't really known for the single player. I get that, but I think they went about it the wrong way. Their attempt at making single player mode more entertaining instead turned Mario Party into a slow paced and tedious game which the series isn't known for at all. The layout for the single player, which is the tradition of the Mario Party series, is only accessible in first player story mode. Multiplayer mode has this half ass concept instead, and you can only send mini games to others. Challenge land mode is where you can get more coins in exchange for completing mini games, but that's it. There's really not much going on there. However, because this is a Mario game, they didn't seem to disappoint with the happy and upbeat music, and the sprites and overall art design is well made in my opinion. There are also interesting characters that have various personalities all throughout the game. Mario Party Advance ironically isn't a party this time. It's more like you're the guy that has to stay and have to clean up after everyone else leaves and goes home. That's this game. Anyway, I give this game a rating of being given away. Playing Mario Party shouldn't feel like a chore. There are many other Mario Party games that represent the party series a lot better, so skip this one if you don't want to be disappointed. Well, you got me this time, did it? Next time, I know better not to let you talk me into covering any more games of yours. HA! Like the audience would purposely want me to review bad games. Don't make me laugh. Thank you guys for watching my review on Mario Party Advance. I know it's been quite some time since I came out with a full you gaming review, but it's my goal to have more content for you guys more often. I'm actually working on a few projects as you're watching this, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. And also, I made a second channel uh, called Darren Esquire, which is my name, uh, my official username. Um, and I basically uh, do behind the scenes stuff. Like uh, a few days ago, I uploaded uh, every intro that you gamer has, even the intro, the new intro that I just featured today on this channel. I uploaded it on that channel a few days ago, so you get like exclusive content, uh, behind the scenes stuff, uh, tutorials and and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, if you wanna go check it out, uh, be sure to subscribe, and I'll be sure to upload content on there soon. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.